Hey, good morning. So question today, how stuck are you really? That's my question for you. How stuck are you really with regards to your health and fitness journey, your weight loss journey? How stuck are you really? I wanna share with you today, my name is Mark Evans. I'm your Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor. And today I'm going to share with you my 576 month method, 576 month perspective. That's what I'm going to share with you right now. And uh, if you're chiming in live, if you're chiming in live, let me know here. Welcome to my little town. I say my little town, our little town, Atlantic Beach, Florida, a little ragtime restaurant here. You probably know it if you live local, if you haven't been here, great place. It's getting busy. It's getting expensive and you better get here quick because <laughs> it's filling up fast. So what's um, the 576 method? That's what 576 method it really is more of a perspective and that's how many months I've been on this earth and I want to share with you my 576 um, perspective because what happens is when you get stuck that's what I want to ask you is when you get stuck are you looking at the, the whole perspective were you stuck just over the weekend did you fall off track uh, yesterday last night we do a live training in my inner circle and my my paid coaching students get to come in and we get to connect we get to learn from each other we get to um, have a community, right? It's something that I think we all need more of in this day and age, in this kind of crazy world, so to speak. So yesterday, I dove into really five ways to get unstuck. And one of them I talked about was the simple fact that we just beat ourselves up. <clears throat> and maybe you're that person. Maybe you're this one that beats yourself up when you fall off track for maybe a few days or even a few weeks. And maybe even you get off track for a season, right? And if you go into thinking about, in perspective, thinking about my 576 month perspective, it's getting really busy here in the mornings and I'm not liking it. It's too many people out already early. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna avoid them. I'm not avoiding people, we're just keeping our social distance, right, so to speak. <laughs> no, wait, we're in Florida, that's okay. We're accepted to, to hug and to, to handshake and to give high fives and fist pounds and stuff. So my 576 month perspective is, now I've been I've been alive for 48 years and that's according to, to time that's 48 or I'm sorry that's 576 months and if you think the amount of time you've actually been on earth now obviously when you're a little kid and you're a baby you weren't probably chances are thinking about weight loss or anything like that hopefully not and I know this day and age the young kids now that are getting overweight even quicker they're going to be thinking about it or at least having that challenge and that issue but for for you let's just say You've been around any, anywhere near me. So let's say five, six, seven hundred months you've been around and you get all bent out of shape and you get all disappointed in yourself when you fall off track maybe for a week or two or maybe you, you know, you don't, you don't lose a few pounds after a, a, a couple of weeks or you, you get discouraged and you get disappointed in yourself because you haven't been able to stick with anything. Well, look, let me ask you this. You've been sticking with life for, let's say, 576 months on minimum. If you're 48 years old, that's what it is. If you're 58 year old, years old, you can do the math on that. And you got to put it into perspective, right? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Realizing that you're probably beating yourself up. You're doing it too quickly and you're doing it too often, right? And what happens is when you beat yourself up, you give up. You beat yourself up on a diet, on a weight loss journey, on you try to do. Now, mind you, you're going to keep beating yourself up if you keep going down the wrong path. If you keep getting, uh, keep getting coerced, so to speak, into believing that quick fixes and diets and, and the, the, the rapid weight loss and all the pills and the potions and the formulas are going to be the solution. Like if they were a solution, do you think there would be so many of them? If, there were, if any of those were a solution, you think there'd be so many of them, right? Does that make sense? Hey, listen, I just hope that this is valuable for you. And as your Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor, I want to share with you the most important lesson for this video, this live this morning. We got a little country music in the background there. Loving it. They're going to come through the street. That's awesome. Let's see. Oh, no, they're just, they're just going by. Loving it. <laughs> the most important thing you could probably learn in this message is to not beat yourself up. Like that's the, I think one of the biggest challenges, even my coaching students, and we have to peel back some of the layers of how many times they've beaten themselves up, how many times they've, they've gone down the wrong path before getting into our program. And now one of the things we really try to establish, me and my team and my community at Inner Circle is to establish new habits, new habits of having forgiveness for yourself, to be able to just 
put what's done is done and put it in the past. And you have that ability too. Maybe you need to be in a community. Maybe you don't have any kind of support. Maybe you, you need what we have to offer. And now the only way to know that for sure is actually if we get on a call, you can reach out to me or, and we can get you set up with either me or one of my team members to see if you can actually get past beating yourself up, right? What happens when you don't beat yourself up? You get stronger, you get happier. Honestly, you start feeling better about yourself, feeling better in your own skin. You get on the right path, the right journey. And then guess what? You don't have to keep beating yourself up over time. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But that's my 576, 567 um, perspective. That's how many months I've been around. And you too, if you've been around a number of months, chances are if you're watching, you've been around for at least probably four or five, 600 months. And that's a long time, but guess what? There's still a lot of time left, but you got to keep it in perspective. If you keep beating yourself up, you're going to keep getting upset. You're going to keep getting discouraged and you're going to keep giving up on yourself. And you're never going to get out of that weight loss, that weight loss struggle. It's time to get out of the handcuffs. It's time to get out of the prison of weight loss failure. You are not a failure. I'm here to tell you, you have what it takes. I've seen it done before. Maybe you just need help. Send me a message, just shoot me a message down here or privately and we'll get you on the right path now. Or you can keep waiting, you can let more months go by and then you can hear my 676 uh, perspective, which I guarantee is going to be the same thing. Don't beat yourself up, all right? Take care, God bless.